This is Eugene Panrukovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an Asus G73JH laptop computer, also known as the Asus G73J laptop. It has a 17.3 inch LED screen, and it's cracked on this one, so we're going to show you how to replace it. All right, before we do anything, we flip the laptop over, and this is very important, we take the battery out. So there's two levers on the bottom. We slide the right one to unlock it, and slide the left one, and take the battery out. So now that the battery is out, we can work on the laptop safely. Okay, while we're still on the bottom, there's one more thing I'd like to show you. Let's see if you can get a good focus right here. This is where the model number so it says it says G73J and it says G73JH. So if you're not sure of the model number and there's nothing on the palm rest, this is where we look at. Okay, so once we get to the screen, there's a couple of surprises sometimes happens with these laptops and I'll show you what goes up. But before we go further, We'll show you what tools we're going to need. We're going to need a small electronic screwdriver with uh, two bits. One is a PH1 bit. PH stands for Phillips, and one is the size of the bit. And the other bit is a PH0 bit. That's a little bit smaller. I'm not sure if we're going to use this, but we'll have it just in case. We also need a pair of metal tweezers to remove screws that are stuck and an X-Acto knife to remove uh, rubber covers from screws. Okay, just like with most laptops, we need to remove the screen bezel, plastic frame around the screen first to get to the screen. And in order to do that, we have to remove these two screws there that are hiding behind some rubber covers. So we use our X-Acto knife to pry off the rubber covers. And what I usually like to do is stick them on the side, but these are kind of thick, so I'm just going to put them on the side here so they don't come off when we take the bezel off. We do the same thing with this one. This one's a little bit more stubborn. All right, and the screws are now exposed. So next we use our PH1 bit to remove the two screws at the bottom. There's one, and there's two. Okay, so once the screws are removed, we can snap off the bezel. The way I like to do that is put my fingertips on the screen side and gently start lifting the plastic up and listen for snapping sounds. Now this one is easier than most, which is good news. We we'll snap it off. And it's off. Okay, and we put the bezel to the side. Now that the screen is exposed, we need to see what needs to be done to remove the screen from the screen assembly. This type of screen is mounted by some screws to metal mounting brackets on the side, but we can't get to the screws because they're hiding behind the plastic, so we need to find a way to tilt the screen forward a little bit. So in order to do that, we need to remove some screws from the metal mounting brackets on top. So we have one here. And two. Okay, same here. One. Keep track of all the screws. Put each set of screws in a different pile. And put the piles in the line so when you go assemble the laptop again, you just go back up 
the line. You can kind of see what I'm doing here. I'm just putting the screws in the line in the order in which they were taken out. Okay, next, this metal mounting bracket has some screws on the side also here. We at least have to remove these to see if we can get to the screen. And when you do this, have the screen tilted back a little bit so when you remove, remove enough screws, the screen just doesn't fall down on you. All right, so let's try to tilt, tilt it forward, see if it works. And when we tilt it forward, we'll see that it is working. So that would allow us to reach all but the bottom screw. So what we have to do is remove a couple or loosen a couple of the hinge screws so we can tilt the screen forward a little bit. So there's three hinge screws on each side here. There's one here, one here, and one here. And there's the fourth one that we're gonna loosen here too, just in case. So I'll loosen it about two turns and see if that will give us enough room to tilt the screen forward to get to the screws on the side of the screen. Okay, so we're gonna loosen one, two, three, four. Now when you go back and put the laptop together, make sure you remember to tighten these. I sometimes forget and have to go back into the laptop. Okay, this gives us enough play here to get to the bottom screw here. So let's turn the computer sideways, tilt the screen forward a little bit. Actually, I'm going to loosen up just a little bit more so we don't have to force it. So play around with it, see what makes you feel comfortable. Okay, that should be enough. Okay. Maybe not. So let's loosen up some more. And see if we have enough now. Okay, we have enough. So what I'm going to do is switch to the pH zero bit. That might help us grab the screw a little bit easier. Okay, it's coming out. So we take our time on this. Okay, and it's out. So the other screw, there's four screws on each side. The other ones are not nearly as hard. Two, and I'm gonna switch back again to the pH one bit. So, and like so. All right, let's go back to the other side. So I know ahead of time that we're going to need this loosened up more. So I'm going to loosen all these hinge screws up more, like so, so we can have more space to tilt the screen forward. And hopefully we'll get to the other screw without as much trouble. Okay, let's switch again to the pH zero bit. Okay, and here it comes. Yeah, this one's a little bit more troublesome than most, so take your time on this. Okay, switch back to the pH one bit. And almost done. Two more screws. Okay, 
So all the screws are removed. The screen is not attached to the metal mounting brackets anymore. Let's see if we can tilt the screen forward a little bit. And we're very careful with this. Make sure it's not getting stuck on anything. And it looks like what I'm going to do is I saw something that I haven't seen before is that the video cable is hiding behind this metal bracket. So I'm going to remove this metal bracket so as not to damage the video cable. There's four screws that are holding this metal bracket. One. This is a beefy laptop that's put together like a tank. So this is my only second or third time on this, so forgive me. I don't quite know the procedure, so kind of make it up as you go along. All right, so let's try again. Let's try removing the metal bracket. And this time the screen, it's much easier. All right, so we lowered the screen. And what we want to do is pull the cable out a little bit. So that we have more room to work with. Okay, so this is a 17.3 inch LED screen. And um, both of the surprises that are thinking might be in there are not in there. So let's first remove the connector and let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so we remove this tape, put it to the side, and we remove this adhesive on top here. It's an adhesive pad. I'm not sure if it's attached to the connector. Okay, we carefully remove it so as not to damage the connector. And we put the adhesive pad to the side. All right, next there's some adhesive tape on the bottom of the connector. And we remove that. Okay, next what we're going to do is just slide the connector out like that. All right, so before we go any further, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on this connector. Uh, more than anything, the most trouble I've seen when people put the laptop together is they don't connect this connector properly. So what you do is you slide it in, and you're going to feel a small click when it's properly engaged. And let's get a close-up here. Let's see if the camera will cooperate with us and focus. Okay, so here we go. Let's remove the tape, see if that helps get a better focus. Okay, pause the video right there and make sure your connector looks like this when it's engaged. So that way, when you put the screen back together, it will work properly. Okay, so that's it for that. Now let's talk about the surprises. This is a standard 17.3 inch LED screen. This is the most common one out there. What I've seen before with Asus laptops is sometimes the connector is here and you, those screens are no longer available or commonly available where the connector is here. So what you have to do is you need an adapter cable. And we have these adapter cables. And what you do, if the connector is here, you put the connect adapter cable here, and you fold, fold it underneath like so, and then connect it. So it's supposed to look like this when it's done. So what I see people make the mistake is either connecting it like this without the fold, or folding it over. Neither of those is correct. You got to fold it underneath like so. So if your connector is here, you need an adapter cable. 
All right, let's talk about the next surprise. Some of these Asus G73 laptops come with a full HD screen, the 1080p screen. This is a standard 17.3 inch LED, which is a 720p screen. And there's a couple ways to find out what your screen is. One is there's usually palm rest on the laptop right here, and that will say full HD. The other way is to go into your resolution settings of the laptop and see what your screen resolution is set at. Set at. If it's 1600 by 900, then it's this 720p screen. And if it's, let me see if I get this right, 1920 by 1080, it's the full HD screen. And finally, the last way to find out is from the part number. Let's look at the part number. Oh, I don't want to drop the camera. Okay, let's look at the part number. Get a good focus. And it doesn't want to cooperate with us. Okay, B173RW01. That's the part that you're looking for. B173RW01. Now, if you have a full HD screen, look up that part number and usually it'll say a full HD. All right, now for the screen surgeons part. Uh, we saw this screen, 17.3 inch LED screen for this laptop. And if you need the adapter for the right rough side connection, we also have those, and we'll sell that to you. And if you happen to order the screen without the adapter, we will send you the adapter if needed. Also, uh, we are planning to sell the full HD screen, so contact us as if your laptop has the full HD screen. Now, when you buy the screen from us, the advantage that you get from Screen Surgeons is that we offer free email technical support when you do the installation. So if you have any problems, you can email us, and we'll email right back to you with answers. And also the compatibility guarantee. If for whatever reason your screen, we ship you an incompatible screen, we'll replace it for you. Okay, so go to screensurgeons.com and click on Buy a Screen. All right, so when you put the laptop, the screen, the new screen back in, put the connector in like I showed you, and put the screen back in, put the metal mounting bracket in, put the screws in on each side, Tighten the hinge screws and put the screws in on top and then snap the bezel on and put on the bezel screws and your laptop should be as good as new. And uh, that's it. My name is Eugene Henrikovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.